Okay, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning in for this weekly message. Please take whatever resonates and leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message, not a personal. If you would like a personal, the information is listed in the description of this video along with so much more other information. For those who are new to the channel, I am a clairvoyant psychic medium. There's plenty of proof out there. You can look into past live videos here or in Facebook, also look into reviews. Um, so I do not use any cards or any tools when it comes to your uh, personal readings or live readings, um, as shown. Um, you could tune in on Wednesdays and Saturdays to get a question answered, um, to join in um, for a discounted price. Also, uh, just know the energy is flowing. So this could be past, present, or future. Let's tap in to you fire signs. I'm going to start off with Aries. Aries energy. All right, Aries. Let's see. see what's going on for you Aries please show us a message for Aries 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 I'm hearing by na na way by na na way by na na I don't know if y'all ever seen that movie Only the Strong but that is what that means um the mean only the strong only the strong survive all right, so, woo. okay, so we have love spell, divorce, and someone else, okay, so someone else could be doing a love spell to try to cause a divorce between you and someone, or um, someone could be doing a love spell to, to, uh, yeah, that's what this is looking like. I don't know. Or this is what someone have done. Someone else, a third party, could have gotten in the mix by doing some spell work, love spell, to cause a divorce. Experiencing a breakup. Someone else, someone is in the middle of someone. Hold on. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. Okay, so yeah, it looks like someone is trying to sabotage a connection, a relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, if this is not a marriage, this could be a relationship, a connection. Someone could be trying to sabotage it. Third party in the mix. Let's see more. Mm -hmm. All right, Spirit, please show us a message for Aries, or this is what have happened. Okay, show us a message for Aries. Aries, please show, okay. Yeah, something about a marriage, a commitment here. Someone is trying to sabotage it. Someone is trying to sabotage it. It could be um, a Taurus, this energy, or this could be um, any earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um... We have Gemini energy here with the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Let's get more. Ooh, show us a message for Aries. Aries. Mm. Eight of Swords. Mm. Someone is trying to keep someone stuck and bound to them. Um, someone could be doing love spells to stop someone from moving on to a third party to move on yeah it's from moving on but it says someone is trying to sabotage this so let's see show us more on this energy look at this higher fence that he want to come out but it's a good thing this is good energy now if it came out in reverse then i'd be like questioning it but um this is a commitment this is a marriage this is definitely um something that was created and ooh. Yeah, someone is trying to block this marriage from happening or from 
um, is tr someone is trying to block a marriage. That's the third party that's trying to sabotage this due to a love spell. Oh, jeez. Let's see more. Shows more for Aries spirit. Mm -hmm. Knight of Pentacles. It could be a Virgo. Um, a Virgo could be involved here, or this is just the energy of someone that should be very cautious of what they're doing. Show us more on this energy because it looked like this this uh relationship, this marriage, this connection is spiritually protected. So whoever is coming in between or have came in between this, ooh wee. They're going to have a lot of trouble. Show us more on this energy. That's too much. Show us more. Someone may have reacted too fast, too quickly. All right, Queen of Cups could be pertaining to a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be in a marriage with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, Whoever this is is highly intuitive. All right? Someone is, is highly intuitive. Someone is... um have picked up on this so this could be you uh feminine energy whether you male or female but this feminine energy have picked up on what is being done show us more on this energy show us more for aries show us more Ooh, Ooh, seven of cups yes yeah, someone picked up that the someone was cast, casting an illusion here a, a love spell <laughs> love magic um show us more uh -uh. Show us more for Aries. Aries. All right, Ten of Pentacles. To have this union or to break this union. Let's get one more on this. No, nope, let's use the other deck. Show us more on the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups for Aries spirit. On this energy, please show us more on this Seven of Cups. I feel like this reading is going to be quick. Hmm. Someone is trying to sabotage a union here. Someone is trying to break up a, a marriage relationship. So if you've been having issues and problems in your union, your relationship, your marriage, it's because someone is is, is trying to sabotage it, okay? Queen, uh, King of Pentacles, it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that's doing this, um, that's casting these illusions. Um, it could be someone's spouse or... Mm -hmm. Show us more with the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, clarify with the Page of Pentacles wants to come out in reverse. Someone is. Oh. Show us more. This could be someone's daughter. Someone. Damn. Someone's child could have done this. Yeah, it's causing chaos, uh, some type of conflict. Or bringing some type of, okay, so conflict. We have five of wands with the moon. This is in secret. This is in secret. So this was not like, um, hello, I'm doing this. It was hidden. So someone was hiding what they were doing, you know? Um, throwing stones and hiding their hands. Yeah, this is what someone is doing here. Strong earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn or Pisces or Cancer. All right, show us more on the Ten of Pentacles. Show us more on the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, Spirit. Ten of Pentacles, clarify with the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> so it looked like it's, uh, there's a... Uh, this commitment is look like it's unbreakable. Or maybe this has been a long journey, long, long time. You could have been together for ten or more years. Um, yeah, someone better slow their roll, though. Yeah, someone better slow their road. It looked like a fire sign. Maybe another fire sign could have been doing this, or this could have been you. Show us more on the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, ooh, I said Knight of Pentacles. I mean, Knight of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles come out. All right, so exactly. We have this King and Queen of Pentacles here. Look, this is a union. So the third party or the whoever this other individual is could have been a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that was trying to cast illusions around connection. To cause an uh, imbalance to a union, to, to cause conflict and problems and yeah, someone was doing some type of love magic to get someone to love them and oh my gosh. Alright, 
but yeah, this is if someone is being cautioned to stop. To, to I'm getting to stop. Stop in your track. Stop what you're doing. Stop. 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 All right. Slow down. Stop doing what you're doing. I'm getting. I'm getting. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles here twice, and then the Knight of Wands in reverse. Knight of Wands in reverse is like halt. Stop. Stop what you're doing. Um, the Knight of Pentacles both here. That's like, uh, I will slow down if I was you. I will stop if I was you. Or I would, I would be more cautious if I was you. So someone needs to be more cautious in what they're doing. All right. Someone is definitely, um, someone going to get a, a real spanking out here in these streets. Let's get more on this energy for Aries. Who playing with your union? Who playing with it? Or who union are you playing with? And you think it's not going to come back to you, Aries? Who is this? Please place you wherever you belong in this situation. But there is a king and queen of pentacles. Or, you know, Aries, you could be in the energy of the king or queen of pentacles. Your person, your partner, your your um husband, your wife is in a king and queen of pentacles energy. And y'all supposed to be together. It's a union. This king and queen is up and upright. This queen of cups could be... um. Oh, someone is casting love spells for sure. Trying to interfere. I feel like conflict magic as well. Show us messages for this uh, reading for Aries. Mm. Show us a message for Aries. It could be a Taurus. Show us. I think I said that. Take it high. It resonate. Show us a message, okay? We have coffee cup. But it's in reverse. Meeting and conversing. Savor in the moment, feel it, uplifted friendship. This is in reverse. This could be your own friend that's doing this. Oh my god. Now, for some of you, this is um just the person that they may have uh uh friend zone. So maybe it was a situation where someone was, you know, dealing with other parties or whatever with the seven of cups here. Um, someone could have been a player at the Knight of Wands here, but someone slowed down. They want to commit to their husband or their wife or however this is. I don't know. Someone may have said, look, I can't do this anymore. I want to commit. I'm, I'm straight on you. Leave me alone. And now this person is mad at casting love spells and conflict spells and trying to break you and your person up. That's what it looks like. Um, anything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Show us more for Aries. We have engagement ring. I feel like this is a union. Exactly. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Exactly. I don't know how else to put this. This is a union that's supposed to be meant to be. That's why it's being. Okay. But someone is trying to sabotage it. So even if they do sabotage it, it's going to come back together because you're you're supposed to be. So either way, like they're they're just a it's just a waste of their time and it's only causing it's just racking up karma for them. More for you. Show us more for Aries. We have cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Alright, so someone is replaying events over and over, like, um, but we supposed to be it's supposed to be me and them, not you and them. <laughs> someone is is envious. Someone may want your, but yeah, there's a third party. But for some of you, it may not even be, um, uh, mm, this, mm, yeah, this is messy because it's messed up. It's messed up because I see a union that's supposed to be, or is, 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 is just meant for you and this person to be, but it's a third party. It don't necessarily please. Don't go questioning your person thinking, oh, you cheating on me. They may not be. This may be a situation where it's involving a family member, mother, motherly figure with this queen of cups. This is a motherly figure, okay? This could be this energy, this person, or a baby mother, okay? This could be that situation. This could be some some feminine, or it don't even have to be a female. It could be a male, but it's in a fem, feminine energy, queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, feminine energy, okay? Um, it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Look, take it however it resonates. But this is the only one that's like it's sticking out here. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along when I stand. Someone could have, like I said, going back to that situation, it could have, you know, stick with the first message. But it could have been a situation where someone 
friends friend zone someone and say, look, we can't do this no more. I don't want to do this no more. And I just want, I want my person. I know we are meant to be and I, I want to continue this and I can't, well, they probably didn't even explain that much. They just said, look, I'm done. <laughs> and this person just don't know how to accept that. So they want to cause problems. I'm feeling like someone could have even went in, got into a new connection, and this person like, oh, okay, good, I'm done. Or did this person move on? No, they 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 did this just to make you think they moved on, but all along they're casting spells on you and your relationship, your connection, your marriage. Oh, we people are grimy, eat grimy. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm just I'm just doing this to you know make it look like I'm not I'm over this person but no it don't look like it someone ain't over someone yeah heart with the key welcome in love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect yeah so this person whoever this is they thought that this was going to be a forever thing they thought you know but it, again it says one night stand string along this was not this was a hit it and quit it this wasn't meant to be for for good it wasn't and someone is really upset about this. Um, I don't, I'm not getting anger. It's just some sneaky get back. And this sneaky get back is to sabotage this union due to love spell. Meeting someone new, they didn't get back out there, plan a date. Yeah, this was what someone have done. Um, transcendent obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So for some of you, I feel like you have did, you, you may have, you know, stepped out on your you yeah may have dated or whatever but someone is like nah it ain't much out there let me go ahead and fix what i have heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving and mourning so this is the other party the person not today not dealing hurt avoiding the conversation call person boundary still angry so someone could be angry someone is upset because someone is disregard like someone is like look i don't want to kick it no more and the other person is having a hard time with accepting that. So, yeah, Aries. Um, just know that you are, you know, you in a union, you in a relationship, you in a marriage. You need to protect it. You need to, you know, just protect it, okay? Protect it. I feel like, you know, the higher ups have this protected as much as possible, but you got to do your own protection as well. And your own protection could be just realizing what is being done, okay? If you bicker and arguing with your person, you're like, what the heck are we arguing for? Well, yeah, someone is sending the energy to jeopardize your union because they don't want you together. Why? Because they're envious. And why? They want to take your place. Or they want to take your person place and to be in their place to be with you. However this go. But you must stand strong, okay? And that is that, Aries. Take however, take this however it resonates, okay? This could be a union that's surrounding you. This don't necessarily have to be a relationship that you're in. But yeah, someone definitely is trying to sabotage it or have already did this and you're going to receive clarity about this. All right, Aries, I'm going to move on to Leo. Um, Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and until next time, many blessings. Hey, Leo. All right, let's see what's going on with you. Spirit, please show us a message for Leo. 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 Thank you. I spy, you spy. We all spy. Who's spying? Someone's spying. Love spell. Oh, snap. Here we go. All right. Someone is spying to see. Is that love spell working? Uh, someone is foolish. Show us a message for Leo. I don't know. Leo, is it you? Or is it them? Please take it however it resonates. We have cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. Mm -hmm. Manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want. Um, some of you could be calling in love. This could be the love spell that you're doing. On uh, hopefully you not you don't have nobody name on it. You're just manifesting love. But uh, someone could be receiving some karma due to some love spells that they have done on you or you done on someone. Someone is receiving some karma or will be very soon. All right. Let's see. Leo. 
Spirit, please tell us a message for Leo. Mm -mm -mm. Leo. Leo. You might want to check on Aries energy, um, Aries message if you have Aries placements or they do. Because a love spell did come up in their message. Show us a message for Leo. 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 Thank you. All right, Leo. Let's see. All right, Six of Cups in reverse. What the heck? How you on the Six of Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone could be having a lot of negative thoughts about the past. Someone could be replaying uh, events differently in their mind. But I feel like someone is, okay. So, yeah, someone can't let go of the past. Of what was done in the past. How things ended in the past. Show us more on this situation, Spirit. Two of Swords. So, someone is wanting to talk and the other one do not. Someone is blocking communication. Not speaking, not wanting to speak. Someone could be dealing with. Um, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone feel like someone is being childish here. Someone feel like someone is being childish, immature. Um, someone could be acting, you know, acting very immaturely here. Someone could be having a, someone could be like very much in their emotions. Um, I feel like emotionally out of control, like... Someone could be um, not in a good state emotionally here um, with this page of cups here in reverse. Uh, someone is stuck in this. It's like someone is stuck in the past, stuck on. Someone may have, have someone is stuck due to not trying to grow. It's like someone is stuck in their, their old ways, stuck with, you know, their old thinking. Someone is have outdated thinking. That's what I'm getting here. So there's some stag they're stagnant here. It's, it's not there's no movement here. It's blocked. Someone is blocked. Someone could be stressed out, having anxiety, sleeping nights, or just a worry word, just worrying. Um, due to communication. Um, if someone will speak, if someone will speak up, if someone will answer their call, if someone will reply to their text or their message, this could be you, this could be the other person, and someone could be dealing with the air sign, Aquarius Libra Gemini. Someone blocked off all communication and someone is having a temper tantrum because of this. Whether you or them, please take it however it resonates. But let's get more. Show us more on the Six of Cups in reverse for Leo spirit. Leo. Six of Cups in reverse. All right, Page of Pentacles. All right, yeah, someone is focused way too much on a negative versus the positive. Someone is just replaying events over and over and over and over. And it could be the worst events, the bad things, the things that you, instead of replaying them to understand how to get over, it's like someone replaying them and just getting mad and mad and more mad and more mad. <laughs> like, it's just, yeah, just mad. <laughs> capital M dot capital A dot capital D dot mm dot d okay <laughs> someone is <laughs> oh my gosh someone is big mad okay someone is definitely big mad i don't know listen leo if this is you it's time to let go of the past if this is this person they need to let go of the past because this is not doing anything but keeping you stuck show us or this person stuck okay show us more with the nine of swords Yep, it's, it's keeping things slow, very slow. It's like, is it? Show us more with this Queen of Pen uh, Queen of Swords spirit for Leo. Queen of Swords, clarify with what? Exactly. Yes, I'm speaking the truth. This it's a lot of truth to this message. Listen, you receiving clarity. You're like 
for a lot of you, this is res resonating with you. Like, yep, that is it. That's yeah. They yeah. They're not growing. Or maybe it, you you're recognizing your truth. Like, you know what? Yeah, I do need to let go of the past. You know, that's growth. Okay. Like, yeah, I do need to let go of the past. Yeah, that did bother me and it still bothered me. But I do. You're right. I need to. Um, or this is how someone is feeling <sighs> towards. I don't know. Someone is want to talk though, but they're blocked. So show us more on this energy, two of swords with the page of cups. Yeah, someone is sad here. Someone is someone is in regret here. Five of cups on the two of swords and a page of cups in reverse. Someone is sad. Someone is in regret here. Show us more with the hangman. Someone could be dealing with a Pisces. Show us more with the hangman. Hangman clarify with the magician. Yeah, someone caused themselves to be stuck due to these love spells. Oh, this is someone's karma. King of Swords in reverse. Eef. Someone likes, someone did this repetitively. Someone, it's like, I don't care what it, what it takes for me to get what I want. But what I want is what I want and I'm going to do it. Even if I have to lie to get it. So someone's, ooh. Someone is being very cold. Um, and this is due to magic. Someone was, okay, so maybe, yeah, love spell did come out. So someone was doing some type of magic here. And um, it looked like someone caused something to freeze, stop. Like, Someone got real cold or, or, or caused someone to be real cold towards them, distance towards them, not wanting to communicate. Yeah. So this is why, because of the magic, is it wasn't supposed to be done. Show us more on this. King of Swords in reverse and a magician. Page of Cups in reverse. Again, someone is having a hissy fit. Someone is really emotionally immature here. They could say... Ooh, someone could take ooh we someone could lie purposely just to just because they're not getting their way they're not getting what they want they could be um being very cold and nasty purposely saying like real mean cruel things like dang grow up like someone is like ma'am grow up someone is not growing up here it's like it's like they're saying I'm I'm a big kid now. <laughs> Yeah, in a grown-up body, like what? This is someone's karma. This is someone's karma here. It's meant to happen like this due to what they have done. Yeah, someone is it ooh, something backfire. Eight of Wands in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Someone is losing financially, losing their stability, even losing their mind. Something is definitely reverse, reverse. Someone shouldn't have played with this. Someone should not did this. But this is a lesson here. So a lesson for someone to learn. This is becoming a burden to the wand due to what they have done. It's like they want to move on to peace and karma waters. Ooh. King of Wands in reverse, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So it's, uh, either you're dealing with another fire sign or this is you. Someone is big mad and big jealous because someone is able to move clearly, move freely. Three of Wands and someone is stuck in a negative place. A negative mindset yeah someone is stuck in the past someone is not it's no growth someone is not growing it's like and they're they're angry they're so angry that you're able to move on you're finding peace or or they're angry because they can't move on it's like they can't move on from from what yeah someone can't so one person can't move on from what they have done which which was due to all these love spells or this all this magic that was done. We have engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union was in reverse. Maybe due to a situation that's um due to a union. Light lightning. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Yeah. What in the heck? Show us more on this energy for Leo. 
not today not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation call person boundary still angry yeah someone is angry someone don't want to don't want to talk and this is this is due to the spell work that someone okay say for instance this person was doing spell work on you repeatedly okay love spells binding you to them causing you to love them love on them like but this was all through love spells then all of a sudden, you randomly don't want to have nothing to do with this person. You don't want to talk to them. And you may have found out that they were doing love spells. And if you didn't, the energy is still within you. Like, uh, I don't want to be bothered with you. I don't want nothing to do with you. So you're pushing this person away. This is that person karma for doing that to you. Or if you are doing this and this person is pushing you away, this is why. This is the karma for doing that magic. All right. Please take it however it resonates. Girl with the snake. Mm, mm, mm. Empath and narcissist. See, I be trying not to. I be trying to sway from that. But, you know, a narcissist is a narcissist. I can't really take it away. If it's here, it is here. This is definitely narcissistic vibes with the king of swords in reverse, king of wands in reverse, with the magician. Clearly, this is definitely a narcissistic person. All right. But um, being charmed or used enable boundaries. Dang. Someone has realized they were just used. They were turned and used in a connection. To be in a connection. To come. Ooh, please. Camera. Reminiscent keepsake perception. Learn from the past. Make memories. I'm going to end that there. Learn from the past. Okay. Yes. Got to say this. Seduction. Attraction. Flirting. Dating. Hooking up. Temptation. Third party interference. So it could have been a third party that interfered. And wanted to... Um, Cause this love spell or mm -hmm. I don't know. But it looked like someone is receiving their karma for sure. Someone is stuck in the past and don't want to let go of the past. Like keep replaying old events over and over. But these old events is things that made you upset, made you mad, made you sad, like or this person. And it's like, how are you healing or how are you going to heal if you constantly um reminding yourself of things that you you know if you're if you want to remind yourself about these things at least try to heal from what has happened or what or why not so it looked like a, a it's a situation where someone is not wanting to let go of a past lover a past situation so they're trying to cast love spells um to try to bind someone keep someone stuck to them to keep a situation us uh, uh, keep things stagnant so we could stay stuck in the same memory <laughs> no growth <laughs> like just that if i could keep you stuck here <laughs> like what no all right so um i don't know someone is uh it's like um i'm getting the uh with this energy of someone that's uh being very cold this is like uh, what am i the word i'm looking for rebellious i feel like the person is rebelling from the uh from the spell work it's like rebelling so you could be rebelling like and you may not even understand why you just don't want to talk to this person or why you don't want to be bothered with this person anymore well that could be why if you don't know hopefully this brings some clarity but for some of you it may not even be pertaining to an actual like love spell or spell work magic in, involved it could just be this person um charming you uh using you uh casting this illusion um due to you know their charm okay that could have been the love spell or their seduction okay trying to seduce you because of their body or how they look and want you to just you know want them in a sexual way thinking that this will last or this is what someone have done to your partner or this is what you have done to someone but it looked like someone is definitely reaping what they have sown. Look like a love spell gone wrong. All right, but I'm going to move on. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel, if this resonated with you at all at this time. Um, yeah, and many blessings. Moving on to Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius. Thank you for tuning in for this message. Please take care of your resume and leave whatever don't. All right, let's see what's going on for you at this time. Sagittarius, Spirit, please show us a message for Sagittarius. 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 All right. Sagittarius, I'm going 
could be going through a breakup, split up, divorce. Show us a message for Sagittarius. Or have recently. Yeah. Show us a message for Sagittarius spirit. Sagittarius. And what else? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay, you don't have much to say to this person. You like, or yeah, let go. All right, make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. What else, there for Sagittarius? Show us more for Sagittarius. All right, yes. All right, blessings are on your side. All right, and what else, there for Sagittarius? We have guardian, a lost loved one watches over you. Okay, positivity, about time. Yes, okay, Sagittarius. Someone could have some gambling issues, all right? Problems with addictions or gambling or bad and fine, bad with their finances. So be careful on your spending habits. Be careful on, on um, yeah, on your gambling. You have a guardian angel that's helping you or trying to assist you at this time. So this could be one of your spirit guides, one of your um, ancestors, okay? All right, let's see more. Spirit, please show us a message for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I feel like I got that in y'all daily. All right, so Sagittarius, yeah. Um, okay, so I do dailies for members. So if you want to join to become a member, you could definitely do that. But uh, I got a message due to like a, a, a guardian angel that was coming through your reading. Someone was um, was trying to get you to recognize something or or do to okay they wanted you to let them go or move on it's time to move on to a new phase a new new it's time to ascend it's time to go farther go up or do something more with your with your life or with your situation or something something like that and this guardian angel this is coming out in this reading i wasn't using these cards um and for those who are new like i said uh, in the beginning of this video I am a clairvoyant psychic medium, so a lot of messages that I get is not based on the cards. It's also due to what I'm seeing, um, what I'm hearing, what they're giving to me. Um, but, uh, yeah, so in the daily, it was something pertaining to that. So, yeah, I don't know. So that's the message. You know, it's coming out as as the guardian angel. So it's definitely um, someone that's trying to get your attention. Show us a message for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All right. Sagittarius spirit, please show us a message for, okay. All right, four of wands, and what else? The sun, okay, and what else? So I feel like you have a spiritual union or a, a union here that, that is trying to come in, all right? It could possibly with, be with a Scorpio or a Leo or Aries. Um, mm -hmm. Look like you want to heal something with someone. You, you're not, you don't want this to end. The death in reverse. Show us more on this energy, spirit. Someone is a healer. The magician, yeah, someone is um, a true manifester. Show us more on this energy spirit. The fool, someone is wanting to take a risk towards this. Someone is wanting to take a leap of faith. Someone is not ready to end something with you or you with them. Show us more on this energy for Sagittarius. Show us one more for Sagittarius. Someone is not wanting to let go of a deceased loved one, possibly. That's the energy of let go, okay? Let go, a guardian angel has your back there. You know, a lost loved one is watching over you, but they don't want you to hold on to them, you know, because it's interfering with your progress. Show us more on this energy for, okay, thank you. All right, two of swords. Huh, it's being blocked, okay? So maybe you're trying, you're manifesting someone you want to take the leap of faith here you you're re, you're refusing an ending that's why they're saying to let go it's being blocked two of swords all right you need to heal all right it's like someone is like no i don't want to let go i want to i want this to cut i want this to work 
<laughs> but they're saying, look, we need you to let go. We're trying to get you in another direction, the direction that, that you're supposed to be in. But you're refusing to let go of something that's causing you stagnation. It's not allowing you to evolve. You're holding yourself back. Mm, ten of swords. Due to this ending, mm, three of swords. Someone is heartbroken because something something is not moving forward how you want it to or something is moving too slow. You feel like it's a fight to get this or you feel like it's a struggle like to have this or this is how someone is feeling <clears throat> with you. All right, so let's see more. Some of you, this could be pertaining to a wedding. A wedding, okay, a marriage. So some of you, could this could be pertaining to a marriage. Some of you, this is um, someone that you shared a home with or, um, yeah. Someone may want to still, someone may want to continue a union with you. Then they don't want to let it go. Um, but it's being blocked. Now, for some of you, if this is not pertaining to like a marriage or um, a relationship, it's something that you need to let go of and focus. Okay, you need to heal a marriage and work on your union and let go of someone from the past or someone that have passed away because it could be interfering with your progression with the union. Okay, someone is manifesting someone to return like, oh, I just want to see your face one more time. I understand. I get it. But. You know, we have to learn how to let go. It's like you're blinding yourself. You're not seeing something clearly here. Um, or this person isn't. Okay. I'm going to say you, okay? I'm talking to you, Sagittarius. If this isn't your reading, this just may not be your reading at this time. And it's okay. But this is definitely someone's reading. All right. Let's get more. Show us more on death. Death in reverse spirit for Sagittarius. Death in reverse is clarified with, yeah, this is a spirit. This is a ghost. This is someone that, that have this that have passed away with the, the harmony and a, a death here, okay? It's like someone is having a hard time with letting go of someone. Hmm. Someone is, is, is refusing this. Someone don't want to let go of someone. It's like, even in, even when I die, I'm going to be with you. Like, I want to... Uh, okay. So, like... Whew. Yeah. Um, this could have been a recent death for some. And recent could be within the past last year, past last two, even three years, or the past... In, within the past three weeks to three months um but it just looked like someone is having a hard time with this ending and it may be because you didn't it's it's like you feel like something is off or you didn't get enough information like it's something else to it um you could be guided to this group of friends or this family member to assist you. Show us more of the three of cups. Empress, a mother. So a mother may have more news on this, more information about this situation, or this could be your own mother. <clears throat> this Empress here. Yes, it's, it's, it's some gossip here. It's gossip, it's, it's talks, it's, it's, um, it could be due to a baby mother, a baby mother, or, um, yeah. It's like this person, whoever this is, it could be the, uh, um, a baby mother or a mother or someone Got in the mix and got in your business and tried to sabotage this connection. Now, for some of you, this is pertaining to a connection. But for some of you, I'm getting like a deceased loved one. A mother, no. Or not, something about this mother. Mother, baby mother, or this is, is some, some gossip going around due to a child's mother. Or a child pertaining to this mother. Something like that. Show us more with this empress. And the three of cups. Alright, the lovers. 
Yeah, for some of you, on another note, I keep getting back and forth. So some of you, this is both situations or it's one or the other. But um, someone's baby mother could be still in love with them. And it could be gossip about this. Or someone was investigating y'all connection or trying to come in to to end it. But it looked like whatever ended, it's, it's going to come back around. It don't look like it, it's completed. Um, Let's see more with this magician. Magician cards about the sun. You have the sun here twice in your reading. Hmm. So a lot of clarity is being shown on this situation. Like, aha, I see why. I see what happened. Um, someone was definitely it was it's a third party that got in the mix, a mother, baby mother. Show us more on this energy. Show us more with the fool. Show us more with the fool. The fool clarified with the king of cups in reverse. Yeah, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, water sign. Uh, this water sign could have took a risk to, um, it could be a male, a masculine. Or if it's not a masculine, um, someone, someone is, is, have removed their emotions from the situation and decided to move ahead, move forward, and block someone or stop communicating with someone. Someone removed their emotions from this. Someone is realizing, like, wait a minute. How you go from loving me or put, pouring all your love into me into not? Like, something happened where someone just switched up. Or if this is how you feel, like someone just switched up on you overnight or something. Or this is how they feel about you, Sagittarius. Show us more on a uh, two of swords, spirit. Two of swords. Clarify this two of swords. Yeah, someone just got cold and distant. And someone is stressing over this. Someone is like, damn, I should have been more cautious. What? Why did I give in to this? I don't know, y'all. Someone may feel this way about you, but that's because you need to let go of this the spirit it's like you have this spirit attached to you and it's interfering with your connections your friendships your relationship your marriage if you're married it's like it's interfering that that's another message for someone it's like it's, it's looking like something it, maybe maybe the spirit don't no the spirit maybe i don't know Either the, you won't let go of this or this person, this spirit want, don't want to let go of you or something. There's something pertaining to a mother. <sighs> mm -hmm. Someone feel a lot of love. Possibly someone could be dealing with a Taurus. A Taurus or a Libra. Um... A lot of confusion here. Show us more on this energy spirit. Eight of Wands in reverse. Someone, something is being slowed down and returned back to center. Okay, yeah, this is looking like the Eight of Wands here in reverse. Something, something is being delayed here. Show us more on this delay. On this, on this delay. Show us more on the Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, someone is being free here. Someone is being delayed and someone is being set free with this Eight of Swords in reverse. Show us more on this energy. Did someone come in between the union? So it's, it's like you could have been happy with someone and then something ended that you didn't want to end. But you may have a spirit guide that's helping you, but it could be gossip, the... Uh, a third party could be the baby mother that interfered with this connection. Someone is getting cl gaining clarity about this situation, or it could be their own mother, like however this is. Um, someone just randomly just lost emotions, and someone is like, "How how did that happen? Like, how did you just get cold like that?" So, yeah, but um, someone is is should feel like they should have been more cautious with this connection with this person. Someone could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, something had been delayed. But this delay has caused someone to be set free. So whether this delay was... Let's get more on this. Eight of Wands spirit. 
Eight of Wands in reverse. Four Sagittarius. Eight of Wands in reverse. Clarified with the King of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. I don't like this. Yeah, there's a masculine here who could have been very materialistic. Um, or this is this is what someone is starting to see. Materialistic and selfish and um like they could turn off their emotions like a switch. Like, oh, they're on and now they're off. Like you like, wait, what? And it's causing anxiety, the nine of swords. Or this, whether this is a male, female, however this is. There was more. So, some of you, you could have, someone fell in love with someone else and someone didn't like that. So, someone tried to come in between and, and basically interfere. I'm so tired of hearing this in y'all fire signs. What is going on, fire signs? Um... Someone have a choice to make. What is this? Show us more of this two of wands. Two of wands clarified with what? Yeah, someone definitely have a choice to make. Possibly about this fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone is, is wanting this fire. Okay, you could be the fire sign. Okay, you are you have a choice to make. What you going to do with this? Show us more on this queen of wands. Are you going to take action? Are you going to walk away? What are you going to do? Are you going to um, give this a new beginning? Are you going to allow this new opportunity to come in? Some of you are like, man, I just want my money. Okay. <laughs> no, but I see you coming together with your king. King or your queen. Okay. You could be in a marriage and you and, okay. It's just some people just need to be outed. They need to be gone out of this situation here. Yeah, there's some sadness and regret here due to working on this. Oh, so someone thought that this was would last, but someone is starting to see they invested in the wrong place or invested their money in the wrong place. Yeah, that's what I got. Yep, because the five of pentacles came out. It was it's basically a waste of time. Alright, spirit. So it looked like someone wasted their time. This is how someone is feeling. Whether this is pertaining to an investment due to a business, work, finances, or this is pertaining to a lover. Someone is like, damn, I rejected this person, that person for you. <laughs> and now this. Or I rejected that business, that opportunity, that opportunity for this. And this was a waste of my time. Like, something like that has happened. All right, the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So something is done, Sagittarius. That's why they're saying let go. Let go. Mm. Yeah, twin flames. This, it could have been a strong strong connection yin and yang balance union duality coupling complement each other yeah that's that king of wands and king of uh it was very pat it was very hot and passionate because this king of wands and this queen of wands it could have started quick and ended quick all right you could have been dealing with another fire sign um aries leo sagittarius or they could have this strongly in their chart they could be a taurus virgo capricorn with uh aries leo sagittarius or they could be an aries leo sagittarius with taurus virgo capricorn um However, um, it could be many signs because you do have a lot of signs here. Um, the main signs, I'm de definitely seeing Leo. I'm seeing Scorpio. I'm seeing Gemini. Yeah. Um, Aquarius and Aries. Yeah, passion, insane chemistry, like each other, equally having fun. That's what this was about, but it wasn't meant to last. It's like what you thought would last to end up coming to pass all right not today not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation call person boundaries still angry yeah you need to set them boundaries all right karmic relationship fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving you so however this is this is a love relationship or this is a 
a, a friendship gone wrong or a relationship gone wrong or the business partnership gone wrong and you like look not today i don't want to deal with you whatever maybe the pageant could have been like look we good on business things going well we got all these excellent ideas together and then something happened i don't know but for a lot of you this is a relationship gone wrong okay i mean it gone it happened because it needed to so i'm not gonna say gone wrong it was just a lesson so you you gather your lesson move on and let go all right but that's all i have for you sagittarius i hope you receive some type of clarity understanding to this message if this is at all your message um don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good stuff um and until next time many blessings